welcome. Today we're going to be doing a kettlebell core workout. All right, so make sure to start your fitness tracker and we're going to begin. If you have a kettlebell, uh, this is kettlebell core, so make sure you grab a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, that's all right. I'm gonna be using a dumbbell today and we're going to begin with 30 kettlebell swings. Ready? Good. I'm going to show you from the side as well. Here we go. Good. How's your day going? It's beautiful, sunny here. You're halfway. Good, and give me 10 more for 10. Squeeze your bum. Nine. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one more. Good job. All right, from here we're going into Russian twist. So come on down to the floor or the mat. If you have your kettlebell or dumbbell, we're going to take it side to side. Try and keep your feet up the whole time, and we have five sets of 10. Here we go. Twist. Keep those feet up. Good. Twist. Make sure you're breathing. Nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. You're halfway, go. Feet up. Good work. You're almost there. Give me 10 more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. All right, we're going into an up, down, plank, drag. So flip it over. So starting from hands and toes, we're gonna go down, down, up, up, reach through and bring it across. And back down, down, up, up, reach through and bring it across. Good. If you absolutely cannot go from your toes, you can go from your knees, down, down, up, up. And drag it across. Good. Down, down, up, up. Reach through, good, and breathe. Breathe, you're doing good, keep going. All right, beautiful, awesome. Okay, so next we have a uh, jackknife. So we're gonna lay on our back with one dumbbell. Again, you can put your hands under your lower back and make it a leg raise. Or, if you're able, we're gonna hold that dumbbell. And we're gonna go down, bring it up. Good, so you're pressing your lower back into the mat. Breathe. Good. Nice job. Breathe, mind and muscle. Good work. We have two more sets of ten. Feeling those abs. Good, and we have 10 more, everybody. Let's go for 10. Nine. Eight. Keep going. In four. Three. 
three, two, last one. And good job. All right. Next, we're going into tuck-ins. Again, you can either place your hands under your lower back or you can hold a weight. So a basic tuck-in, just like this. So you're extending your legs all the way out and then tuck in and out. In and out. Good. Squeeze and out. We have 30. Good, that's 10. We have two more sets of 10. Really squeeze your abdominal section. Squeeze. And we have 10 more, please. Good work. And inhale, exhale. Five. Are you squeezing? Four. Three. Two. One more. Ugh, good job. All right. Next, we're going into a weighted crunch. We're going to hold either your kettlebell or a dumbbell. So here we go. And if you can't do a weighted crunch, you can make it a basic crunch. So I like to place the dumbbell behind my head, almost like a pillow, and then hold on to it and crunch. Good. You can keep your chin up towards the ceiling. Squeeze. should be burning by now. Keep going. You're halfway. 25 of these to go. You can hear the birds. We have 10 more, everybody. 10, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, so next we're going into a, a mountain climber. So flip it over. And we're going to begin. If you have a kettlebell, place it here. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging for you. You're going to put your hands on your kettlebell, so almost uh, around the ball, the ball part of it. I'll use my dumbbell for now. But it might wobble a little bit, which makes your core work even harder. So you're going to hold on to your kettlebell. And then we have our mountain climbers. Bring those knees right into your chest. Keep going, come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, so next we're going into a kettlebell swing pass. So at the beginning, we just swung that kettlebell like this. This time we're gonna pass it. If you don't feel comfortable passing, you can just do a regular kettlebell swing. Up, pass, pass, good. Really getting our brains involved, the coordination. You can do it. Don't drop it, don't throw it. <laughs> 
it's happened and you're halfway already. Come on. Good work. We have 10 more. 10, 9, Four, three, two, and one. Good, set it down. Next, we're going into burpees with a spider plank. We have 10 of these. We're gonna come down like this, bring that knee up, touch your elbow, alternate, jump up again, and repeat. Come down, and jump up, and down. Good, come on. Big jump, jump, good job, stronger every day, two more, one more, and good, Whew. nice, don't want to wake my mat, all messy, we went hiking this morning, up a mountain, so my shoes are a little dirty. Okay, suitcases are next. So go ahead and pick up your kettlebell, or if you're like me, you don't have a kettlebell, you can use your dumbbell, or even your Oren bands. All right, standing with your feet nice and wide, hinge at the hip all the way down. Good, and up, breathe. So this is working your obliques all the way down and then bring it up and over. Yes, up and over. So feel that stretch right here. Ten more. Y'all ready for Christmas? Five, we're so close. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, switch your weight to your opposite hand. We have 20 on this side. Feet are wider than hip width, all the way down and up and bring it over. Good. Nice. Doesn't it feel good to move your body? Yeah, stronger, healthier, more fit. We have 10 more of these for 10. Okay. Bending over. Nice deep breaths. Four more. For four. Three. Two. Last one. And good job. All right, set that weight down and we're going into plank jacks. So we have 20 plank jacks. Here we go, ready? Nice work. 
You can do it. Give me 10 more. For 10. Over. We're going to do 15 on each side. That's one five. Taking your heel, place it on your opposite knee. Hands under your lower back. Good. Breathe. Good. We have five more. Five. Four, squeeze, three, two, last one, good job, and switch legs. So now opposite foot is on your opposite knee, bring it up. We have five more, everybody keep going. Five, four, three, two, last one, and good job. All right, uh, from here we're gonna come up. We have 15 single arm swings. So make sure you use a kettlebell that's not too heavy. If you start to feel pain right here, that could be a sign your kettlebell is too heavy. So we're going to do single arm swings, just like this. If you don't have a light enough kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell like I am, or you can do both hands. Good. Squeeze your booty forward, thrust it. Good, and we have five more on this side for five, four, three, two. Beautiful, switching hands. And 15 on this side. Good. Kettlebell core. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Beautiful work. Five more right here for five, four, three, two, and last one. Set that weight down. All right, you've just completed one full round of today's kettlebell core workout. Please repeat this video one or two more times. Make sure to stretch, and we'll see you back here next time. From Hawaii, mahalo.